Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Summers and welcome to the top 10 gaming YouTubers of all time list. Now first off, before I start this video, I just want to say to the people on this list, it is solely based off my own opinion, and not by their subscriber count. If you do disagree with anyone on that list, that's fine. This is my own personal preference. Also, to make this list a little bit more fair, I purposely not included any of my friends to make this list a little bit more fair. If you would like to check anyone out that I have thoughts about, I will leave everyone's link in the description, so if you're interested, you can check them out. In this list, I am going to be explaining to you what type of content they produce and why they are on this list. So, with all that being said, let's get right into the countdown. So, starting off the list at number 10 is Seto Sorcerer. Now, I know with Seto, he has been off YouTube now for two years and still gone to this day. However, I still wanted to include Seto because in my personal opinion, he is a great YouTuber. So, for anyone who may not know who Seto is, He's a Minecraft YouTuber with almost 600,000 subscribers, whose style of commentary is a little bit more relaxing than most people to this day. Now the reason why I like Seto is for a few reasons. He's able to combine both funny and calm to make a great video, which nowadays is almost impossible to do. Seto also puts out a wide variety of content such as mini games and maps, including mob reviews, hunger games and much much more. For anyone who may not have seen Seto's videos, here's a brief look at some of his content. Oh god, no! I'm gonna die again! Stupid fireball! I want to fight <laughs> you <laughs> and fist <laughs> your bond. What's your last words, boy? Hey. So those are pretty much all the new features. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a battlefield. But yeah, so these are all the new arrows besides the rope arrow, which is its own category. Moving on to number nine, we have Comedy Shorts Gamer. Okay, okay, now I understand that Deji doesn't make gaming videos very often, and he does more challenges, and whilst he's not technically a gaming channel, shush, I top 10, I make the rules. But on a more serious note, I wanted him to include Deji, because even though he uploads a gaming video every time an eclipse happens nowadays, I still wanted to include him because of how funny they are. For a backstory of Deji, for anyone who may not know who he is, CSG is the brother of KSI. He makes videos typically ranging from games, challenges, and much, much more. Deji, when he does upload a video, they're always unbelievably random, and a lot of the time they even make him rage to the point of where it's being funny, in my opinion. Take a look, and maybe you might agree. Right, I'll get bigger and I'll. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my... Yo, this might be the shortest video ever! Oh my gosh! Damn it! And coming on to number 8 on the list, we have Chugger Conroy. Yes, that's right, you think I'd have a top 10 gaming YouTubers and not include Chugger, one of the original gaming content creators? So for the 1% that might not know who Chugger is, he's one of the original gaming YouTubers dating back to 2006. One year after YouTube was created, he started his gaming channel off with his first video titled Super Smash Bros Brawl Boss Very Hard Clear. And since then he has produced over 1900 videos and counts to this day. The reason I like Chuggy is because not only is he dedicated to what he does, he's able to balance out informative, mixed with random and funny, which is normally a combination that does not go well together, especially to say that random does not equal funny. He also puts in a lot of time and effort into his videos, so this is why I have included him on the list. Now let's take a look at a few clips from Chugger Conroy. So I just turn uh, what? You oh, that's cool! What does that even do? It makes me like float upward a little bit more like when I jump, but you're not like letting me- Done! What? Done! What? Now, as you saw, he didn't go down after the first time hitting him on one of those spike balls, so this time, you gotta get a little bit tougher. And I would definitely not get used to flinging him once and then fling- to get him close to the spike ball and then fling him again to actually hit him on it. That won't work quite as well this time, and you'll see why in just a moment. Once you've hit him twice, Got him again. Now we just need to hit him a second time. And am I really going to mi Oh, wow! Uh, dang, I feel kind of sad for Bowser right there. At number seven, we have Proton John. Now, Proton John is actually a good friend of Chugger Conroy's. This isn't the reason why I put him on the list. However, because of this, I will not be including his collab channel with Chugger and Nintendo Capri Sun. Um, I'm going to be including his solo channel. Now the reason why I put Proton John on this list is because of the unique way he does his videos. Proton John, unlike Chugger, is more of an entertaining and calm commentary than hyper, random and super informative. 
Now, having a cow commentary it makes it hard to be entertaining, but John does it in a way that makes anyone really come back to his channel despite his inconsistent schedule, mainly with Superman 64, where he literally uploads that series once every two to three years. That's not a joke either, that is literally true. <laughs> When he releases a video, it typically is high quality and John takes more pride in producing quality content over quantity. The game was being made for the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and Wii, and the footage that was released looked really promising. It was set to be an open world game that let players take on some of Superman's greatest villains such as Doomsday, Brainiac, and Darkseid. Sadly, Brash Entertainment went bankrupt in 2008, and with that, Factor 5's funding disappeared. Magic pass. No death. Oh no! Don't do that invisible block crap. Oh, more invisible blocks! Stop it! They're not fun. They're not a challenge. It's just a cheap way out for an extra, just a bit of annoyance. At number six, we have versus. Now, when I was making this list, I wasn't too sure whether to include Tyler's content, Josh's content, or their collab channel. Now, ultimately, I decided with the collab channel because I enjoy the Versus channel more than their individual content. So for those that are unaware, Versus is a collab channel between Josh Jepsen and Tyler Cedarwall. They make Versus videos which consist of both Tyler and Josh racing through a game to try and beat it the fastest. Now, Tyler and Josh have never been known for being informative, especially with the Versus channel. However, their humour makes up for it, in my opinion. Now, the content is more for the mature audience, but I feel like they don't go over the top with the humour. Personally, I really enjoy their personality and the fun ideas that they do are the side thing or racing such as playing games like Would You Rather. Now, the clips that I'm going to be showing for this one, I'm going to try and find something that's not mature. <laughs> I'm going to do my best. Uh, just give me like an hour or so. I feel like it would be really fun to make a game like this and just, just to be a really big troll. That's kind of what I like to do with Mario Maker. What the fuck? I like to make levels that are just super trolly. Oh my god. So you're one of those people? Yeah. So, Mary fuck, Mary fuck kill. We have Cloyster, Look at Tongue, <laughs> and Ooh. Onyx, aka Mr. Anal Beads. Hmm. <laughs> Onyx is dead. Okay, I'm killing Onyx. Come on, he would be the best Anal Beads, Luke. Now down to number five, we have a YouTuber known as Unstoppable Look. Now, I don't know if you consider Unstoppable Look a gaming channel per se, but I'll put him on this list because he does make gaming videos, so I'm going to go and count it anyways. So what Unstoppable Look does is he creates Minecraft trolling videos, which is why I wasn't sure whether to classify him as a gaming YouTuber. So, I don't know, if you don't classify him as a gaming YouTuber, then too bad, I'm doing it anyway. Now with Nick, I'm not sure what it is about his videos exactly, that makes him so entertaining to watch. It might be because of his editing style that he does to make it like a funny moments video, or it might be because of the reactions. But what he does is he'll go into a Minecraft world and troll kids via Xbox Live. And yes, I realise it can be mean, but on the other side it's funny at the same time. God, I sound like a horrible human right now, don't I? Anyway, watch a few clips. You're not even that troller for me too. Did you check your messages? Um, yeah, I did. He didn't even send me a message, what the heck? I didn't send you a message from this account. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, Adam, oh it's unstoppable luck! What the heck? I don't need to prove anything to you. Oh my god, you oh my actually god. sounded like him for a second. Like, why does it say you live in Canada, though? Because that's the country I live in? Are you, like, trolling me right now? Are you just pretending to be him? Of course. I, I definitely would pretend to be myself. Down to number four. We have Mr. Craner, or Craner Commentates. So with Mr. Craner, I decided to put him on number 4, despite me not watching every video of his that he puts out, mainly because he uploads 3 to 4 videos a day. And I haven't got time for that. So, I decided that I'll still put him there, but I should mention I don't watch all his videos. But the reason why I put him on the list is because of how enthusiastic and dedicated he is to the quote-unquote crazy family. That's why he calls his subscribers. For those that don't know, Craner is a Minecraft YouTuber who also plays other games, but primarily the main games he plays is Minecraft. And the thing I like about Craner the most is his reactions to certain situations. A great example of this is when Sunday trolls him. I find him to be very entertaining and he's able to cater to both young and old with his videos without the use of swearing. 
Wait, wait, I now I feel the pain that you have caused. What? what? In about two minutes, your whole world will wait, be no. destroyed. My whole world? Bobby will be no, not Bobby, dude. All of your hard work. Okay. Ah! Oh, Bobby! Share the bed together. We can share the bed together. Okay, you know what? Th people do that every once in a while without weird stuff happening. So, as we're now approaching number three, I will say I wasn't too sure who to put in the last three. Hell, I was even debating on putting in famous YouTubers just for some views. But then I was like, yeah, I better not do that. But let's continue with the countdown. Winning the spot at number three, we have Peanut Butter Gamer. Now I'm not going to be talking about the Peanut Butter Gaming channel since that's not his gaming channel, that's his top 10 channel, but I will be talking about PBG gameplay. So with PBG he has a unique style when it comes to making his videos. A lot of the time he has over the top reactions so when something bad happens or something funny, his reactions normally are a lot different to most people and despite this being the case with a lot of YouTubers, PBG's reactions to me anyways sounds the most genuine. He also has a series on his channel called PB and Jeff. A series he does with Space Hamster, where the two of them will play a game, so there's a bit more variety in terms of the commentary, and I find it interesting to watch, especially because with their commentary it's interesting to listen to. Sometimes when I'm listening to their videos, I feel like I'm watching more of a podcast than an actual video game. So I bet that makes it harder. Oh! <laughs> they look like one of those freaking like. I love that he just ragdolls them. Yeah, he just yeah. He's <laughs> like <laughs> his nose like, like just quap breaks. or something like that quap game. That's what that looked like to me. I brought way too many pillows and blankets. I always overpack. I went to Italy over break and mom got me, got really mad at me because I bought five bags but we're only, how much money do you have to spend? My sheesh. Now moving on to number two, we have someone who is very well known in the YouTube community, Markiplier, or Markimoo. Now, believe it or not, I'm not putting Markiplier on this list just because he made for a great thumbnail. There's actually quite a few reasons as to why I'm putting Markiplier on this list. The first reason is because of how real and genuine his videos are. Mark has never been afraid to show his emotions in videos, as you may see from mostly his older content, but this makes you feel more connected with Mark, and it makes you feel like you're playing the game with him. The next reason is because of how much time and effort he puts into the channel, yet he still always seems enthusiastic and ready to record his next video. There are some people in the world that will cause burnouts. Basically, burnout, if you don't know, is when you have been doing something for a long time and you suddenly start feeling a bit burned out from doing it. And the last reason is because of his humour. His humour is just so random, it's honestly hilarious. One of the most recent favourite moments I've had from Markiplier is when he was doing a game called Google Feud. How he kept giving the answers as pet name Steve, or some random penis joke. And I know from just me saying it, that doesn't sound funny at all. But when you watch the video, it honestly is hilarious. It honestly just works out really well, in my opinion. Uh, boink, boink, boink. Doink, doink, doink. Oh, killing it! Your computer. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Hello. Hi, lady. Wow, that's creepy. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, come on! Fuck off! Moving on to number one, we have the YouTuber, Sunday. Oh, Sunday, I could go on for hours and hours as to why you are my favourite Minecraft YouTuber, or just YouTuber in general. But for the sake of keeping this video at normal length, I'm going to keep it as brief as possible. So Ian is a Minecraft YouTuber with 6.9 million subscribers. With Ian's videos, he is able to deliver comedy, information, and just complete randomness all in the same video. And he's also able to edit all that down into one 20 minute video every single day. He starts off his videos with a really bad pun from Derp Sunday, and then he will proceed with the video, and every day it feels like he's doing something new, despite doing the same series for a long time. Gloom. I told you I didn't get that lucky, man! Like, come on! <laughs> I can beat you in Pokemon Go, though! Crater, how many nether stars did you get? I had like four stacks, dude, <laughs> that I have to throw out a stack and... Pobble, just promise okay. you won't get upset. I promise, I think. Do you have a pen and paper? <laughs> I, I take, 
I take that as, yes, you're leaving to go get your pen and paper. And that's all I have for this list. Tell me in the comments, do you agree with any of the points that were made, and were any of your favourite YouTubers also on this list? Was anyone on this list not here that you think should have been on here? Tell me in the comments, and if you got any feedback for this video, leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this top 10, if you do want more of these, please do tell me in the comments, and I'll like the video to signify you want more of these. Apart from that, thank you all for watching, I hope you have enjoyed, if you did and you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, fill in real down, press the like button. Apart from that, I'll see you tomorrow with another gaming video. Bye for now.